Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today we're going to talk about CC Cycle 3, Week 11, Hands-On Science uh, Project, Anatomy, and today we're learning about our eyes, nose, ears, tongue, face, and so um, this will be on page 38 in your My Body book, and it'll just be a blank face, and um, let me turn there, 38. So getting this from our My Body book, your director will make some copies for your students. And then um, on pages 36 and 37, there's just some information about each part of our face and what their job is. So as your students are coloring their faces, they you can learn, um, you can teach them about what the different parts of our face do and why that's important. Lose my face. Um, when we assemble them, if they want to add hair, I've seen um, some like students add yarn, or you could draw the hair on on the butcher paper that we're gonna assemble everything on. So different different options. Um, <clears throat> again, Nicole Liam has her science script in the sandbox easing for week eleven, and. So try to tie in your memory work. We learned about our five senses, see if they can name what their senses are. And also um, our nose is part of our respiratory system. It helps bring in the, the oxygen in the air and release the carbon dioxide. Um, we're gonna talk about how our eyes, nose, ears, and tongue send messages to our brain. We learned a lot about nerves in previous science experiments. So how do nerves send messages from our senses, like from our sense of touch or our smell, how our eyes, how does that send a message to our brain? We even did where we were spinning and our ears send one message to our brain and our eyes send another and we can feel dizzy. And so um, it's a good review of uh, things that we've talked about in previous science experiments. Um, and you just ask them, what did they ob observe, too? That's a, um, just with any of these weeks in their projects, just what did they observe? Um, why is this part this size? Why did God make um, our eyes and ears a certain size? Why did he give us two of them? Why do we have um, two of each? What if we had three? Or what if we only had one? Um, so just some good questions to to think about some uh, things to hypothesize about. Um, again, this is a good catch-up week if in previous weeks you haven't been able to finish coloring or cutting some of them out. Um, it's a good week to catch up on because all we're coloring is our face today. So you can cut that out. Remember to put their names on each part and put it in their folder or their Ziploc baggie. And then next week we will be assembling them. So. Have fun with this one, and I'll see you guys soon.